So with the sad news during the week, Konstantin Koltsov, Sabalenka's former partner, passing away. Sabalenka's actually spoken out for the first time on social media, so let's go have a read of what she had to say. This is what Sabalenka had to say over on Instagram. Konstantin's death is an unthinkable tragedy, and while we were no longer together, my heart is broken. Please respect my privacy and his family's privacy during this difficult time. Now, Sabalenka was supposed to play against Bedosa tomorrow, but the tournament has decided to postpone that match. Jose Margado over on Twitter has said that Sabalenka was given an extra day, not on the order of play tomorrow, despite her half of the draw playing their second round tomorrow. Good touch from the tournament. So Miami giving Sabalenka an extra day and also Bedosa. Remember, she is playing Bedosa in that round. Bedosa could have done with the extra day as well because of the injury she got against Halep in that win the other day. But good to see Miami giving Sabalenka the extra time off to get ready for her match. So there you have it. Sabalenka coming out and speaking about what's happened over the last couple of days. From her point of view, uh, not much to say. Of course, she's not going to be doing any press conferences, not going to be doing any interviews over the next couple of days either or in the next couple of weeks. She just wants to play tennis. And that's all she's going to be doing in Miami. She is playing Bedosa uh, in a couple of days' time. And of course, Bedosa and her are very, very close. So it's kind of fitting that her best friend will be on the other side of the net on the first time she's coming out on court and in the public eye since the tragedy. But Sabalenka's match being moved for an extra day and she's also broken her silence around her ex-partner's death.